wanted to follow up on, uh, on Sarah's question from NPR. She asked you about Ivanka Trump's statement that the press is not the enemy of the people. And she asked you whether or not the press is the enemy of the people. You read off a laundry list of your concerns about the press and, and things that you feel like are misreported, but you did not say that the press is not the enemy of the people. And I, I, I think it would be a good thing if you were to say right here uh, at this briefing that the press, the people who are gathered in this room right now, uh, doing their jobs every day, asking questions of officials like the ones you brought forward earlier, are not the enemy of the people. I, I, I think we, we deserve that. I think the president has made his position known. I also think it's Richard, ironic. Telling us, I'm, I'm Sarah, trying to answer you know, your question. Okay, I, well, I it, politely waited, and I even called on you, despite the fact that you interrupted me while calling on your colleague. Well, you I said it's ironic, which is why yes. I interrupted. I'm trying. But if you if you finish, because. if you would not mind letting me have a follow up, that would be fine. But it's ironic, Jim, uh, that not only you and the media attack the president for his rhetoric. Uh, when they frequently lower the level of conversation in this country. Repeatedly, repeatedly, the media resorts to personal attacks without any content other than to incite anger. Uh, the media has attacked me personally on a number of occasions, including your own network, said I should be harassed as a life sentence, that I should be choked. ICE officials are not welcomed in their place of worship and personal information is shared on the Internet. When I was hosted by the Correspondents Association, of which almost all of you are members of, you brought a comedian up to attack my appearance and call me a traitor to my own gender. In fact, as I know, um, I'm, as far as I know, I'm the first press secretary in the history of the United States that's required Secret Service protection. The media continues to ratchet up the verbal assault against the president and everyone in this administration. and. Certainly we have a role to play, but the media has a role to play for the discourse in this country as well. And, and